People, when they think about doing good, don't do it. And they don't do it because they wait. What happens is that when we see the good that needs to be done, we are tempted to wait because there's a part of us that wants to demonize the person who needs the help so that we don't have to do anything. You find the person who doesn't have the job, the person that doesn't have the house, the person that doesn't have the education, the person that doesn't have whatever you've got, and you have the capacity to work into that person's life, to give into that life, to go down to the center and do something good, that you have the capacity to do that, but you wait and you think, well, what kind of person is crossing a border? What kind of person is not with a job? What kind of person doesn't know how to read? What kind of person doesn't know English? What kind of person? And pretty soon you have convinced yourself that you're a really good person and that person is a really bad person and why should you help a bad person? And so when the apostles gather around and no one jumps up to wash feet, Jesus moves to the bowl and the towel. And you're going to have the opportunity to do a good thing. And if when presented with the opportunity to do a good thing, you wait, you open the door for what is darkness in you to take over from the light. You should consider that sweet Jesus has washed your feet and therefore you should be like Jesus. And if you're gonna be like Jesus, when you get the opportunity to do something good, do it! Don't wait.